Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the tap tap stretcher on your Android phone uh, to perform an action such as uh, launching an app or take a screenshot or perhaps open up a utilities like a flashlight. So you can see here at the moment my tap tap gesture has been set to um, take a screenshot. So if I tap on it twice, a screenshot is taken as you can see. So I try it again and it works on a various various number of different phones so i've got here a galaxy s8 s9 s10 even the s20 it works as well uh, it doesn't really work very well with the s20 but with other models it works uh, quite good so when i just tap tap it will work straight away so let's take a look how you can install it uh, you first need to install an app so this is still in uh, alpha testing so still in the very early stages of development uh, of the app but you can use it it's not available from play store so you need to go to this site xdadevelopers.com and if you i will include a link so you can download it and uh, you can uh, go down here and download this file here so i'm going to download this uh, tap tap number four alpha apk and i'm just going to download it now it's going to download and uh, install on your device so i'm just going to wait for it to finish now that's finished, I want to tap on it to download, then tap on install. So now it's installing tap tap. So we're just going to wait for it to install. Okay, it's finished, I'm going to tap on open. And then we need to go into accessibility, so tap on here at the top. And this will take us to the accessibility setting page and tap on install services and go down and find tap tap so tap on tap tap and switch it on and then tap on allow it says it needs to view and control screen view and perform actions if you're happy to provide a permission for the apps to access this to tap on allowed and then i'm just going to tap on the back here to go back to the app so sorry so there's the app right there so in the tap tap app you can tap on gesture and at the moment the sensitivity is not working but you can uh, tap on device model and choose which one at the moment you can see it is um, currently tested on the pixel uh, device but that's okay it still work on your samsung galaxy device as well or any of other of your android phone and i'm going to tap on back what is important is this um, actions so if you tap on actions you can choose what happens when you double tap on the app or on the back sorry if you double tap on the back of your phone so here you can see if i double tap a flashlight will turn on or turn off yes you can see now you don't need to use flashlights you can add different action so if you tap on the plus key so once i tap on add actions i could launch so if i launch tap on launch i can launch an app i can launch a shortcut launch assistant uh, launch camera so you can choose one of the options um, let's say if you, if you want to launch an app you tap on launch app and here you can see i got a number of different apps available that i could launch so choose an app that you want to launch so here we've got um, calculator for example i'm going to launch a calculator and then tap on the back key and then you've got gates so gates here, so gates are a situation that can block gesture from running any actions. So in order for any actions to be run, all the enable gates must be open. So here, display is off. So blocks gestures when the device screen is off. So if you're switching off your device and you don't want to accidentally turn on anything on, then you can switch this feature on. Uh, display on, USB device, on call. So block gestures if you're on call. If you're on call, you don't want to accidentally um, open up an action. And so you can add additional gates if you want to. And that's it. So let's uh, give it a test. So you can see the calculator has been open.